Hello, hello. Welcome to a Maker Studio. I'm Cheryl and I create over on the Home of My Making Facebook page. I have a really, really special project today. So if you've ever followed me on the Home of My Making page, you know I love flowers. So here on a Maker Studio, we have some pressed flowers in our arsenal and I'm going to be using them today. So here's how I'm going to start this project out. As you hop on, let us know where you're watching from and let us know your favorite flower. So I'm gonna start with a little piece of, it's like a five by seven of um, watercolor paper. Now for this project, you pretty much need something that's a heavy paper like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of our gel art ink and this color is called Well I Declare. I'm going to put some in this little container. And then I'm just going to take a little dab of our Bless His Heart, which is the red. So I, one of my favorite things to do over on my page is to create custom colors. So this, everybody knows, red and white make pink. And if you need to add more color either way, whether it's the white to make it more light, just add as you go till you get the consistency of the color you would like. I'm going to add a little bit more white into here. So I'm really going to use these gel art inks as a watercolor medium. So when you add some water to them, you almost have like your own watercolor paints. So this is now getting to the color that I want. And again, it's the two colors mixed together. Bless his heart and will I declare, which is the red and the white of the gel art ink line. Also, all of your products that I'm using today are up in the description section if you want to go ahead and check them out. So that's the color I was going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of this in this side. I'm going to add just a little bit of water and I want it to be a consistency of a little bit loose paint. So I'm going to stir until I get all of the... Um, lumps out and if I need to add some more water I will. And if you added too much water all you have to do is add a little bit more paint from the other little section. Less is more when it comes to water. So as you guys hop on let me know where you're watching from. And also, we're going to be giving away a pack of these pressed flowers today. Aren't they fabulous? Aren't they fabulous? Has anybody ever tried to make their own pressed flowers? I have never. And now that we offer them, I don't know if I'll ever try it. So I'm going to dip my brush into this water that I put in here. And I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to use this brush. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use our artist brush. Let me put that one to the side. So our artist brush is really fluffy and it's got a point. It's good for soaking up a lot of this gel art ink. So what I want to do is I'm going to just take and if you want to add some water to it, you can. I'm not a true watercolor artist, but I like to dabble in it. And I want to make a letter C. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back with just some water and I'm just going to spread it out. 
I don't want this to be a perfect letter and I want it to be kind of wide. So also if I lay down on my brush, it's going to make it wide. But I just did that first line to get to where I know that I have my letter in the right direction. And I'm going back between the um, water and the color that I mixed. And I'm just going to add some more water to what I already put down. going to make my C a little bit wider. Now you could do any letter that you want. So now I'm just adding plain water to what I already put there. I do want it a little bit wider. This is the reason why you need to use watercolor paper because you are putting water on it. And I am making the letter C because my name is Cheryl. So here's where I, what I have so far. Now if you need to take a paper towel because you put too much water on it, just go and dab it a little bit. Try not to lift your letter up, especially because if you do have water on there, it will then move to a different area. And then it won't be where you wanted it. So let it soak into the paper. So there you go. So I do have the letter C. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun. Now you don't want to do this at home. Just let it air dry, but I'm going to do that very gently because I need to get it dried so I can get to the rest of the project. But I really like to just let it air dry by itself. And if you're going to add more pigment to it, which another layer, you do want it to get it dry before you add another layer of the watercolor paint. So here's what I have so far. See how it's the letter C? I am going to go back and just add a little bit more. I'm dipping it in the water and just, I don't want my edges perfect, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to darken it up, a little bit of pigment again. And you could keep adding as much as you'd like. This project makes a great gift for somebody. Okay, I think I'm done with that. I'm going to move this to the side. And that artist brush is really good for using with the watered down gel art inks. Again, I normally would let this just dry by itself, but because I'm on a live, I'm gonna hit it with a heat gun. And if you have it really wet, you definitely probably don't wanna hit it with a heat gun because it'll move the water but I do need to get it dry so I can get to the rest of my project. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So now I have this C on there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these pressed flowers. So don't forget, tag three friends and share this tutorial and you'll be in the giveaway for some pressed flowers. So it comes in this little pouch comes with a little piece of plastic on here. Gotta be 
mindful. Not just these, they'll go all over the place. Here's what I'm going to do to make sure this is dry. <laughs> I just said that and then I go and use the dryer, right? A little bit more dryer. So here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take that little brush that I had and I'm going to put some Mod Podge and you could use white glue, but I'm going to put some Mod Podge in a little tray. Just be easier to get it out of the container this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out where I think I want my flowers to go because I don't want to start to put them on there if I don't know the placement. So before I do any of that, I'm going to actually think I'm going to move that up. Place them on here before I start the gluing down process. And these are so, so pretty. And I don't want to fill up the whole entire word or letter. Let's see. Let's get some purple in there. These are so delicate. Because I still want some of that watercolor to peek through there, right? that is you know when you do a project and it just just makes you happy this is one of those projects it's just making me happy oh, look how pretty that is Placement is the fun part, right? I might just cut this little leaf or stem off a little bit so I can get it in here. And then have that like that. So I think I got my placement where I want it to go. And that's just a, an estimate of where I want it to go. I could change it as I go along, but it just gives me an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this Mod Podge on the back of these flowers. And this is going to act as my glue, right? So I'm just patting it on there. You could use just white glue if you want. And then I'm just going to press it down. I am trying to be mindful of which side looks the prettiest too on the flowers. And again, just gently with this brush, putting some of that glue on the back. I said that was just when I put that placement there it was just for the purpose of giving myself an idea so what do you think of this project I'm telling you you're gonna love to work with these flowers they're really pretty and if you're a flower lover like I am it's just such a joy to work with these even got some greenery in there. So if you guys just hopped on, what I did is I took a piece of watercolor paper and I took some Gelar ink and bless his heart, 
and the well I declare I mixed it together to get this fabulous custom pink color I did add a little bit of water I used it as a water paint and I made a big C on here and now I'm just taking some of the pressed flowers putting a little Mod Podge on the back you can literally put white glue on there instead actually let me get him a little bit over here and then if you need to while it's on there just put some glue under to keep them down just tuck some glue under there when you get like this one sticking up just tuck some glue under that stem what do you guys think I'm like so quiet because I'm enjoying myself over here having a blast using these little pressed flowers so again don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial and you will be in the giveaway for these pressed flowers and you could do it in any letter you could do it just in a round you don't have to do it in the shape of a monogram I'm gonna get this little one just a little dab of glue in the back very delicate I'm trying not to break any of them and then I'm just gonna put that one right there and I love the little greenery too it just adds the perfect amount of touch so I'm gonna look at my project and see if I need to add any more anywhere else so you can pretty much see that that's an s let's see if i can get something right over here something that's littler um let's see i'm just gonna get just a little bit more and you could cut them i just want something right there So what do you think? Oh, I think I want one more thing right here. It never ends. So what do you think? Isn't that pretty? So again, with the background of the wash of the gel art ink, it creates the foundation for me to then go ahead and put the um, pressed flowers on that. So isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Let's see. Do I want any more? I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. So you can see that that's a C. So now what I'm going to do, this is where it's, you know, you could do it a, a couple of different ways. I'm going to actually put this in a frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of those uh, little glue dots and I'm going to take a glass frame that I got from... Ikea it's actually plastic but it does come so that you can sandwich your artwork in between it so it's two different pieces of plastic There's that one and that one now I'm going to make my own piece of art so what I'm going to do is see where I want this centered in here and just to hold that there I am going to just take a little sticky dot and put that on the back of the watercolor paper. That'll hold it in there until I get the other piece of plastic on here, but it, it will hold it. I'm just going to try to eyeball the center of that. Now, can you believe we made this? Doesn't it look like you would buy this in a boutique? And then I'm going to take 
the other piece, make sure this is straight, sandwich that in there, right? So it's going to keep my, I might have to put another sticky dot, it keeps moving on me. Those of you that are scrapbookers know that um, what these little sticky dots are. This way it'll just keep it there until I can get my top off. Oh, this is really, really pretty, guys. And then I'm just going to put it back into this frame. Now again, you could use all different kinds of frames, but I like the idea of using this um, plexiglass frame. It has a hanger on it. You could get these at Ikea. You can get these at World Market, and I'm sure Walmart has them. So there you go. Simple and easy floral plus press flower art. Isn't that beautiful? So there's a number of different ways you can do this. I did it in a monogram, C for Cheryl. So if you enjoyed this project, go ahead and give us some thumbs up and make some comments below what you would do instead of a monogram. So I hope you enjoyed this project. And don't forget, tag three friends and share this tutorial in the comments below and you will be in the giveaway for some pressed flowers. So I hope you enjoyed it. It sure was fun to create this floral pressed flowered monogrammed project. So thanks guys, have a great day.